Hey, handsome. Oh, the dress? Thank you. I helped design the dress with the help of designers at Coco Chanel. You don't look too shabby yourself, fiancé. Ah, uh, yes. We should head down. Just a moment. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it? Although this is my mother's hotel, I've never actually been here before yesterday. Who knew they would have a whole waterfall in the lobby? I wonder how they pulled off building that. No, don't worry. My mother isn't actually staying in the hotel with us. She had some business she had to attend to in France, so she's not even currently in the country. <sighs> Freedom at last, right? Yeah, um, I've been staying at a friend's recently. You know the day James confronted you at the academy? Yeah, well, since that day, I've been staying at one of my art club's friend's places. Why? Well, when I arrived home, my mother finally told me that she wouldn't force me to marry James. She told me she saw all the photos online, and I thought she was finally considering my happiness. <laughs> but the only reason she told me that was so she could bring up the topic of another engagement. To this 50-year-old tycoon! Can you believe that? <laughs> you... Really think so? <sighs> Thanks again. You always know what to say. Wait, I almost forgot to ask. You heard about James' expulsion, right? Yeah, apparently someone took a video of you and James's, um, how do I put this, encounter, and it went viral online. Mm -hmm. Son of influential park conglomerate group caught bullying classmate, they called it. And yeah, he got expelled. Kind of surprising that the media would take it like that since you punched him, but I mean, better for you, I guess. Yep, you guessed it. Even if James's dad poured buckets of cash into the school, Quinn's Academy wouldn't hesitate to separate themselves from what they deem a problem that could affect their reputation. You're right. He did deserve it. I... I actually heard that his parents cut his trust fund in half because of the incident. Apparently, their stocks plummeted after the whole thing spread online like a wildfire. Okay, okay, you're right. We wouldn't want to spoil this night talking about him. <laughs> you're too funny. Oh yeah, congrats on acing that physics test the other day. I'm impressed. Highest in our grade. <sighs> you're going to have to tutor me next time. I've been failing miserably. Who knows if I'll even pass into the next grade. Seriously, I wish I could be half as smart as you. I'm fine just the way I am. I, um, thank you. Hmm, I think it's on the 30th floor? Left from the basketball court and across the spa. Yep, floor 30. What do you think you're doing, Mr. Fiancé? <laughs> You really think that little trick on me would work? Yes, you can hold my hand. And we're here. Yes, I'm sure I want to go on holding your hand. Why wouldn't I be sure? I mean, thank you for being considerate for me, but the last thing I'll ever do is second-guess being with you. We've spent enough time together to trust each other, right? So please, put some trust in me. 
Thank you. Am I ready? <laughs> Anywhere if it's with you. Esteemed guests, welcome to the Queen's Academy Spring Prom- Oh, it's just you, Kanade. Need no welcome to your family's own hotel, do you? Nice to see you too, Kyoko. I thought being a downer was something you only did at school, from stress, maybe. But I guess you do that everywhere you go, huh? Sorry, your highness. Welcome to the party. I'll need to check both of your student passes before you continue. Got to make sure no one unqualified comes in and wrecks our night. Here. Yours too, scholarship kid. Please, come in. Wow, cool venue they got here. What's this room called? Rose Ballroom? Definitely fitting, with the way they decorate the whole thing head to toe in flowers. Oh look, a photo booth. Let's go take pictures later, okay? Hmm? You want to what? Dance? You want to dance here, in front of everyone? Um, well, I don't really know how to dance. Yeah, no. I didn't actually grow up with the whole fancy education thing like the other kids here. Horse riding? Etiquette lessons? Ballroom dancing? I've gotten by knowing the bare minimum, I... I know. You said you would wait for whenever I was ready to tell you about my past. And I'm really grateful for that. You're a really awesome guy, you know? And... I won't make you wait much longer. I promise. <laughs> Again, thanks. I'll go get us some mocktails. Don't move, handsome. I'll be right back. Wait, that's him, isn't it, boss? He looks just like the photo you showed us. There that little scumbag is. Remember me, scholarship kid? <laughs> thought so. You're coming with us. How do I look? Perfect, sir. You emanate bad guy intensely. I'm even slightly scared of you. Perfect. Can you pat on my chin? Or maybe bent on revenge, but I don't have to be oily while doing it. Of course, sir. Of course. Okay, okay. Is everything good? Go ahead. You can take his gag off. Oh, well, well, well. Look who we have here. What scholarship, kid? Is Conade no longer around to protect your sorry little ass? Oh, quit acting all tough. You're nothing without her. And you know it. And I thought you were the smartest kid at school. Yet you want to say something so brazen like that. Call me a coward for ganging up on you with a bunch of guys one more time. And I'll- Boss, calm down. Any louder and someone might hear us. Don't tell me what to do. What? You're curious about that, of all things? How did I get in without my student pass if I was expelled? Well, scholarship kid. Money is more powerful than you realize, and it can do anything if you have enough of it. But you probably don't know that, do you? Oh, right. Why are you here? <laughs> well, I know your little secret. What do I mean? <laughs> I know that you and Conaday aren't actually dating. That it's a stupid publicity stunt. 
just so she gets away from her mother's control. Why? Because I want to ruin her. You heard me right. That bitch took everything from me. My reputation, my parents' trust, even half of my goddamn trust fund. I want you to confess right here and now. While my little buddy records over there. That Conaday threatened you into a fake relationship. Maybe I am sick. But I'm wealthy. And everything you'll never be. Wrong again, James. Really? Kidnapping? I thought you were at least better than that. How did you- I find you? James, my mother owns this hotel. You think out of access to the security cameras. Hmm, talking about security. Let's go to Mount. Are you okay? You don't look like they laid a hand on you. I was so worried. You hear me, scholarship kid? I'm not crying, okay? Here, stand up. Let's get back inside. Still acting like a gentleman even in this situation? Yes, I'm okay. Now that you're here. <sighs> I'm so pissed though. We totally missed VTS's performance. Hmm? Well, when I noticed you weren't where you were before I left to get drinks, I really didn't think much of it. Maybe you left to go get food or something. But I knew something was up when you weren't anywhere in the ballroom. That's why it took so long to find you. Trying to find a single person in a sea of hundreds of students isn't easy. But when I finally realized you weren't in the room, I called head of security to check the cameras. And lucky me, you were spotted with that scumbag James outside in the gardens. Me too. I was so relieved to find you. If something happened to you, I, I wouldn't know what to do. Glad to hear it. Ah, <sighs> well, a certain someone owes me a dance. <laughs> if only a handsome boy would ask me out to the dance floor. Yes, I'm sure. I may not know how to properly ballroom dance like the other students here, but why should that stop me from having a good time? I want to have this moment with you. And who are my bad dancing skills to stop me? So, how about a fiancé? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Isn't it strange how we ended up here? I mean, how lucky was it that you happened to be working in my engagement ball? That you also went to my school? And were someone who was willing to go along with this peculiar girl's plan? I mean, I could have chosen anyone to ask to be my fake fiancé. Yet... My eyes were drawn to you, the gorgeous boy in the corner who didn't seem a one bit impressed by all the fancy decorations. <sighs> Destiny really is a thing, isn't it? You want to ditch this place? Come on, there's a balcony on that side of the room. I, I think I'm ready to tell you. Of course, I'm sure. You've helped me so much, and I trust you. I want you to know all of me. Not just the confident girl who declared you as her fiancé, or the brave girl who wasn't afraid to talk back to her ex in front of the class. I want you to know the bad stuff too. Because, like I said, I trust you. You're ready to listen? Okay, well... As I said before, I didn't exactly grow up in the lap of luxury. My mother, the one who owns this hotel, 
Well, she isn't my biological mother. Yep, she's my stepmom. She married my father when I was seven or eight. I don't exactly remember, but my father wasn't the most well-off man. We would go town to town for his jobs, him constantly getting hired then fired again. I remember never having any true friends because we were always moving. Thank you, but no. My father and I didn't have a bad relationship, but we didn't have a good one either, if that makes sense. He was my father, and I respected him for that. But I could tell by the way he talked to me, the way he treated me, that he was only keeping me around because I was born from the woman he once loved. But when my father met my stepmother through a friend of his, I think that was the first time I ever saw him truly smile. Not the type of fake smile you plaster on your face when a stranger asks you a question, but a true, genuinely joyful smile. So, when they got married, it didn't matter to me that I didn't like my new stepmother. I... I just wanted my father to be happy. James told you that? <sighs> well, that does sound like him. Going around and telling other people's secrets. Well... He's not wrong. My father did leave me. I don't exactly remember when, but there was a point when my father couldn't take the life of riches and responsibilities. Being constantly watched and making news headlines when you make a singular mistake. He... he couldn't take it anymore. So, he left. Life of prestige and wealth. And me. <sighs> After my dad was gone, my stepmother wanted nothing to do with me. With one singular phone call, I was cast into the world of foster care, moving house to house. Why did she bring me back? Well, she had a son from her last marriage. He was a lot older than me, so he didn't live in the house with the three of us. But apparently, just like my father, he too grew sick of this life, and poof, my mother didn't have an heir. She was her parents' only child, and refused to give the coming to her uncles, because of pride, probably. But, yeah, as long as I learned the ways of the company and didn't upset her too much, I was allowed to be her daughter. Which isn't going too well right now, but I don't regret a thing. After all, all the stuff in my past, it led me to you. <sighs> Listen, I... I like you. Like, for real. And I was wondering if... <laughs> you can't let me have a moment of glory, can you? Now we're going to have to tell everyone that you asked me to be your girlfriend first. But we're dating for real? Wow, this feels like a dream. Thank you for staying by my side. I... I'm so lucky. So lucky that it was you.